Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will do a tutorial on how to use Katia V5 for computer aided machining. Let's start by opening your profile and inserting a new body and rename it raw as well as changing its color and transparency. After that, we'll sketch a rectangle at the bottom of our workpiece. For the size of the raw material, it will be bigger than the workpiece itself. And then we'll pad it. As long as it's bigger than the actual part itself, it's good enough. Hit OK. And then we'll have our raw material. After that, we'll hide our raw material um, and add a reference plane where it's the topmost surface of our part. Unhide the raw material and then we'll go to prismatic machining. Click start machining and prismatic machining. Once we are in the prismatic machining interface, we would double click on our operation and click on the machining icon and click 3 axis machine we'll put our reference axis hit the middle button there and also one of the points on the raw material click the raw material icon and double click on our raw hide our raw and then click on the design part icon and double click on our part we'll add a safety plane so you've got all three part body our raw material and our safety plane selected click ok next we'll do our facing click on the facing icon and then click the bottom of your part when it turns green, click on the topmost surface of your part. Remember to always look at all tools to make sure that it's correct. For the sake of this video, I'll make it 100 millimeters, and then we'll click on the film icon to compute and also simulate how it would be. Click OK again. After that, we would do our profile contouring. Click on the profile contour icon. And for the bottom, we'll choose this surface. And for our contour, I like to do it manually. I will remove the automatic contouring and I'll put in the edges myself. Click OK and then for the top moves, we'll click the top move surface. Again, I'll show you that the orange is the top and the bottom and the red line represents the profile that we are going to cut. Make sure our tool is of the correct settings. 
for this part we don't have any radius so make it zero and for the sake of this video I'll make it to 20 millimeters diameter for the distance between paths it's always half the size of our diameter from our tools um, for the number of paths and number of levels we would need to do some trials and error for that And as you can see, your profile will show up. After that, click OK. Next, we will do some pocketing. Make sure it's an open pocket. For the bottom, we will click on that surface. And for the island, I like to do it manually again. So I remove all islands and click the edges myself. This gives me full control of the actual island I want to keep. For the top part, we'll just click on the top on the surface. Remember to always check your tools for this one as we need a radius, a small radius for our corner on the island. I'll change it into 10 millimeters diameter. I will simulate again. And as you can see, the island is left out. It would not be cut, but the rest of the part is pocketed. Next, we'll do another pocket. We'll make sure that it's a closed pocket because the pocket is closed. It's in an enclosure. And then you click the bottom part to that surface and the topmost part to that surface. Again, check our tools, make sure it's correct. Click OK and then another pocket. <laughs> Again, it's a closed pocket. Click on the floor. I like to remove all islands to make sure that we get everything machined. I like to do my contouring manually because it gives me a lot more confidence in what it will cut. Click OK after you're done. And again, the top layer is the layer, is the surface on top.
almost there all right click ok and then we'll do one last pocket make sure this time it's a soft bottom and a closed pocket so for the bottom layer we will pick the bottom part right click on the eye the green island and click on remove all islands again i like to remove all contours and edit myself this time it's only this small opening right here and then the top plane is the top plane of that specific pocket we'll compute and again run the simulation Moving on to the last step, which is the drilling. For the drilling, it's quite straightforward. We just have to click on the number of points. So click any uh, any holes that needs to be drilled. And then click close, double click anywhere to make sure you get back to that menu and then we'll choose our top thing after that make sure that we have the correct tool over here it says 12 millimeters so make sure we have the drilling tool and change it into 12 millimeters after that we'll turn on machine blind or machine tools because it's a tool hole we also have to change the jump distance into around 30 millimeters to make sure that it does not hit our workpiece. And after you've got all that, make sure you change the depth to around 30 to make sure it's really, really a through hole. Compute it and run one last simulation. And there you have it. This is the end of the video. Please make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to. Um, don't forget to save your file. And if you have any questions, do leave some comments down below. Thank you for watching.